Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 26 of my Alp 17 7 Days to Die Experimental Let's Play. <laughs> um, uh, as you can see, I got the forges and the cement mixer moved up here today. Um, do I not have sound? Uh, um, what's going on? I don't... Yeah, there's no sound. Um... I got the music down. The sound is up. Maybe we'll... We update it. Okay, it must not be a seven days to die thing. It might be my computer. So it was paused for a minute. Let's see, it says oh, no, this isn't what I want. There we go. Um, huh, where's the test? There we go. That usually fixes it. No. Okay, so let me pause the recording and see if I can resolve this. Okay, so I just restarted. Everything seems to be working fine now. Well, so yeah. You can hear the crackling of the fire. The sound effect. I did... This was the iron that we looted yesterday after the loot run while we were at the the airdrop there was like 450 so it's been going for a while i did make uh, some more cement i mean concrete also i farmed i went up and harvested everything and made more food and drink which i put in here so we still have plenty of food i made some more coffee because coffee is good. Um, I'm trying to think. I want to go back and loot that passing gas. But in case things turn south again. I wanted to have an updated set of tools. A backup set. Uh, if you would. A good backup set. So what I want to do is make make another machete, another compound bow, another steel pickaxe, and a fire axe. Maybe not a shovel. Because this, when we're out looting, this is probably more than likely going to be in there. We don't need to worry about that. So maybe, and I don't think the wrench would be, you know, a necessity to going back and getting our body. But we might need to break things and yeah I heard that maybe have a, a shotgun also I did get the uh, the 33 iron bars oh sh my goodness. she saw me oh you gotta be kidding me and there's a spider monkey. Okay. Oh, and it looks like it's a feral. Maybe. Yes. Did you see it jump? Okay. I don't, I don't need to sneak. The damage has been done. Let's 
try to get this stupid guy dead. Oh yeah, see, he was 900. Yeah, come over. No. He's gonna hit that. Yeah, it didn't kill him. Oh, I'm, I'm telling you, I don't know why I'm such a horrible shot. I'm usually pretty good. Right in the eye. Oh, yeah, kids. See, I think um, upgrading around the. Oh, they're going for the wood. He's just chuck plump full of arrows. There, we got him. You know what? These guys aren't feral, so let's just go down and take them out. He's stuck. Whoa! He came over here a lot faster than I thought he was going to. Thank you for my arrows back. Oh, do we have another one? Let's fix those. Yeah, um, let's go up and see if we can find this guy. There he is. Yeah, let's just hop down and take care of him. He doesn't look like a feral or anything. No sense of wasting ammo on him. There we go. I'm gonna have to like go through and replace. Were you damaged? I thought I saw something damaged. It might have been that. Anyway, I would like to make some tools, and, and that's going to take some steel, so maybe we should uh, just queue up some steel in our forge here. How much can we make? Also, I noticed we can make a shotgun, but it's pricey. It's like 30 iron, or 30 steel, I'm sorry. Uh, so let's make like 30. And I think that would, uh... Oh, it's going to be on the workbench. Oh, goodness. I forgot how much steel each of these took. 20, 40. We don't want the shovel. So we need 40 just for those. And what about the Machidi? Oh, 60. Okay. So we made, what, 30? So can we make another 30? Exactly 30. Uh, so that's going to be our base tools. And we want to make another compound bow. Is that... Is that done in here? Yeah. Okay, that doesn't take anything too difficult. Uh, we need a duct tape, two glue, two leather, and some plastic. Ah, that's not the right one. A duct tape, two glue, Two leather, and I think it was like 15. Look at all that. Oh, that was from our car run. That was pretty nice. That's pretty nice. There we go. Now we got the important stuff. That should just take us a minute. I can't believe I don't... I'm going to put a die in that too. Ooh, actually we'll have that one be our backup. And the five will be our main. Okay, so there's our backup compound bow. 
I'm pretty sure I don't have anything in it. Yeah. I thought I would have, but I didn't. So there's a spare compound bow. And maybe I'll just uh, make a good shotgun and then leave that one behind. And what I'm thinking is also is to, um, I know it gives me the extra damage, but I want to put this in my shotgun. And I'm thinking, uh, we still have some dye over here. Uh, we'll put, put dye in there to make up for that lost damage. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. So we'll save that for our horde knights. We don't go in there. And then uh, I'm thinking we're going to need like another 30 steel to make a shotgun. And we don't really have enough ammo. I want to go back to that place, but um, I needed to smelt all this iron up. And I was going to make some more ammo with this lead, but maybe we'll go ahead and put that in there. Because that should go through it pretty quickly. And can we make the buckshot? How much does the, the buckshot takes three lead, so that's not going to make very much. And we can't really mine lead. Uh, I think there are, there, in Alpha 16 anyway, there used to be nodes of it sprinkled here and there, but I haven't seen any like surface nodes um, is that what you would call them because I think each slug takes more than one pellet uh, oh let's just see shotgun shotgun shell okay it only takes one buckshot okay one buckshot, one paper, two gunpowder. Um, I, I'm thinking what I need to do today instead of going back there because I don't have enough uh, shotgun shells. If we get a bunch of ferals, I need that shotgun. I was able to kill them, but I blew through like 40 ammo. Um... So I'm going to need that shotgun to go back in there, which might have to wait until after the horde. I got a lot of stuff I've been putting off uh, <laughs> just so I could go have fun. Um, so we got our, uh, our 60 stuff. So let's go ahead and make, uh, actually let's make the Machiti first. Oh, we need a leather. that going and we want the pickaxe and the fire axe and those are going to be our backup weapons okay let's put since we're not going to have the shotgun just yet we need like another 30 steel Ooh, we're like halfway there but that's going to take like all of our iron oh my god See, we can make it. Oh, it takes 32, 20 mechanical parts, 10 duct tape. So it's it's really costly, but I think it'll be nice to have uh, some modifications in there so we could put the die on it, get a little bit extra damage, put the cripple in there. Um, heck, we might even, we have, we got another scope on there. I know it's pointless on the, um, on the shotgun, but we might put that in there just to increase our damage a little bit. Uh, the silencer actually lowers the damage. And I'm curious to see what 
this does for a gun. Can you even put it in a shotgun? I don't know, but I don't even know how many uh, modification slots it'll have at tier 5. Um, so my goal is I want this one to be my backup shotgun. And you know what? We we got like a lot of shotguns. I bet if I went through all our shotguns and just uh, unloaded them, we could get a ton of ammo. <laughs> Where's my shotguns? That's a hunting rifle. I don't think I've ever did these either. Oh, because the ones the ones don't have a modification slot, so you can't do that with it. So we will probably have to No. I want I want here. So we'll probably have to tell it to do that to get that ammo out. So now that I do that, we have some we have some extra ammo. Now that I thought of that little trick. Um But yeah, that's my thing. If I lose my shotgun... Oh yeah, and look at that rocket launcher. Let's put that down here. Level 6 rocket launcher from our last airdrop. That's freaking amazing. Um, we got tons of stuff that we could be selling. But the thing is, I don't know uh, why... They're not letting me sell to them. Uh, I think it might be because they're they're not at full health. So we might need to take some of them, like some of these pistols, and repair them up. Because we got like four traders on this map now, and there's possibly even more. Uh, so I would like to at least sell off the the level ones that we have tons of these hunting rifles so I mean if I could repair those up that's like eight repair kits we only have five so we'd have to make some more repair kits and then go see if we could sell them to the trader even the compound bows uh, those sell really well we can make these easily and we have our extra one that's level four over here so we don't have to worry about that and I do want to keep an extra wrench so maybe that'll be like our backup wrench oh it doesn't have to be anything special uh, And we'll be able to like melt these guys down. We even have another compound bow in here, but uh, let's put it over here. Um, yeah, but what I'm thinking is I'll melt these down since we're getting new tools and we could definitely uh, use that the materials in there and the fire went out great let's go ahead and throw uh, that one got the since the iron was in there it got the time of the iron since the timer was still on there so it ate it really fast um 
I don't know if that's how they intended it to be. Uh, so we'll check on that again in a second. But let's try to get some... Some of those, what you call it, repair kits. I know they take duct tape and oil. I think they take cloth too. I don't know how much. Let's look. There it is. Duct tape, cloth. Oh, it takes a forged iron. We got that. Um, oh, I got a shotgun. There, so we'll need nine. I think we'll still have it. Oh, this is now the metal chest. Do those get made in... Our inventory? Oh, yeah, we can make up our inventory. So that's sweet. And then we'll have one left over. Holy crap. Okay. Oh, and we wanted to repair those too. So that's another three that, uh, at least another two that we need. Crikey's. Now let's just make up what we need. Alright, so we need two more oil. What was it? Two more cloth. And then we need our two iron. Holy Jiminy, that's expensive. And these aren't, you know, these are 120 each. So I'd really like it to <sighs> see the pistols. Just, I don't think, I know it's definitely worth it on the compound bows. Cause look how much those are worth. They're worth like 2,600. Heck yes. That's what I want to see. Uh, so it was like 760 and now it's 2600. So we definitely want those. And I think the sh these um, hunting rifles will be good too. They're now 2200. Yes, please. Um, that is definitely worth 120 for a repair kit. Yeah, it's like doubling the price on that. That's a thousand. Um, 907 to 2000. See, these are, these are not very jacked, but I'm not sure that they'll buy them without them being full. See, look at how low that one is. It's 260, let's try it. And now it's 1200. It was definitely still a thousand. It's still a thousand profit for a 120 coin repair kit. So let's go ahead and repair that one up. All right, let's check our forge. Yep, we can pop these guys in there now. Oh, that steel one takes six minutes. Holy Jiminy. Okay. Um, I'm gonna make a steel, this one, because my machete is really low. I don't feel right about. <laughs> um, I am going to put 
my ammo. Where did my shot, my good, sh I don't think I really have a good shotgun. I just have a level two one. It's like going to be, that's going to be our main shotgun boy there. And I think my only other favorite weapon is this marksman rifle. Uh, but this one is going to wind up being my backup shotgun once we make a new shotgun. Do we have enough to queue up 32? Oh yeah, okay. So let's make 32 so we can make a good shotgun. Um, and we're going to take... Oh look, we have even more compound bows and hunting rifles in here. Yeah, I put those over there. Oh, we want to melt these down too. I'm going to melt those down. Well, we're just going to let those guys run. We're going to run over to the trader. Oh, hi, Cleo. My other cat. Uh, she wants love. She wants love. Hi, baby. Oh, oh. She doesn't come to me that often, but when she does, she needs love. She needs love. Everybody needs love. Yeah. Okay, you can sit there with me if you want. <laughs> it's hard to see with cat butt in your face. Usually, if I stop petting her, she will give up and go, but... <laughs> awesome. Um, let's go. Put away your weapon unless you'd like to die <laughs> in my store. Dude, it's a nail gun. It's a nail gun. Okay, let's see if he... I know he'll buy this cash. Awesome. We have very, very little money. I'm hoping... There we go. Oh, and he gets the ammo back. Uh, that's nice. Awesome. So he, bit, he bought all three of those. Oh, yeah. Oh, he only bought two. Oh yeah, level up, baby. And he only bought two. And I'm wondering, are those, is he just not buying them because they're level ones? That's interesting. But I only have level one shotguns. Maybe he only buys so many of the level ones. Um. Yeah. Oh, look at that. He's got some nice ammo there. Oh. But what I really want is some shotgun slugs. Look, he's got freaking three iron leg armors, mini bike chassis, and handlebars. Those are expensive. Military leg armor and gloves. Oh, man. He's got so that was definitely worth it. Oh. A little bit of la oh he had an auger oh my god on the last page he had an auger oh he's got 27 shotgun ammo a level one auger for 8,000 I'm pretty sure you have to be level 100 to get to make an order. All right, now that we're done doing oh, that's the business, wrong get out of my I wanted, store. I wanted the tab. I want to see when do we get to make. Is it Yeah Science? No, oh, that's Battery Banks. Uh, engineering. Yeah. Chainsaw and augers are in level 10, which is locked behind level 100. So, if we were to get that auger, 
granted it is only a level one, but I mean, we can't make it for another like 30 levels. Any restocks like in two days. I'm gonna buy it. I think that would help me in my mining so much. Uh, Cause it's still, even with the points in that, Um, let's see, it's melee damage, block damage is 26, block damage, see this block damage is higher than the auger, I don't, I don't understand that, power attack block damage, see I don't think you can power attack with the auger, so it's, I'm going to get it, I'm going to buy it, and then I want to buy it, as much as that shotgun ammo as I can. Was, oh, that was on page two. And sometimes they have like this loot. And then they have like uh, their other one. Oh, yeah. So there we go. We bought all of his um, shotgun ammo. Um, I think oh, that buckshot is that for. That's 91 for five. I don't know. I do know that the gunpowder is very hard to come by though, so. It's only 168. Definitely gonna get that. Definitely gonna get that. 4,600. See, I've already spent all my money. Uh, see if there's anything else he has. He's got the mother load. I would like a generator bank too though because those are pretty pricey let's look at um all right now that we're done doing business to get that. out of my store the generator bank oh that's not that's not too bad at all especially since we went and broke down the cars okay that one's not bad and neither is that and it might be beneficial to make the battery bank since we have way more batteries than we have uh, engines but I think you actually need the engines to charge the batteries if I'm not mistaken I don't know oh, look at that. I don't know I think the block damage might be lower because um, it's so fast. It's going to be so much faster and I don't think it's going to take our stamina is the big thing. It's not going to take our stamina to use it. It's going to instead take gasoline which we know where to get the gasoline so yeah. That's going to be awesome because <laughs> Seriously, one one uh, glass of coffee. Uh, oh, I hear somebody smacking my face around. Oh, sh Nike, she saw me. I don't even know where she is. Where the heck is she? 
she's got to be... Oh, there... She died. She'd been sitting there pounding down. Uh, I wasn't even here. Why would she go down? Where are they coming from? Oh. This is the new one. Actually, none of these guys are ferals, so let's just hop down, save our arrows. That zombie's on fire! Oh, he's a feral. Back off! like a feral no he's not i'm so scared of ferals <laughs> i really need to get my defenses um shored up because they're just coming right in nowadays <sighs> so that was a very uh profitable little run we'll have to go through our guns again and possibly make some more glue so we can get some more duct tape Hopefully we got we got plenty of oil there. So um, let's put our ammo up. Actually, let's do that. Um, I'm gonna use these up and probably make steel. Or I actually have a bunch of steel, too. Maybe we'll just, like, swap those out right now. What are those flaming arrows? Ooh. That sounds like fun. Alright, how's our stuff doing over here? Uh, oh, wait, we want to throw that in there. Yeah, I definitely want to make a good shotgun so I could put mods in it and uh, make it better. Because uh, I think the, especially with that cripple on there, I think that'll be nice too. So what else do we need for the shotgun? I know it took the 32, 20 mechanical parts, 10 duct tape, oh, 10 plastic. Was it 10 plastic? Yeah, and 10 duct tape. So we're gonna have to make some more. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and just make 40. I think I have the water over here. Let's just slap that in there. It'll take a minute, 28. And we'll put the rest of that water back. Yeah, uh, we definitely need to throw in some more sand to get more jars. Because, I, I mean, I don't use that much up on my food. But when I go to make glue, it uses them up as well. So that's no good. Uh, so do we have like 10? Yeah, let's grab that. Some cloth. There's our 10 duct tape. Oh, a shotgun! Oh, 
Oh, look at there's our um, backup tools. All right, so we can put those in there. I feel a little bit better. <laughs> I feel a little bit better. We got backup tools, the backup bow. We're gonna have a backup shotgun that's gonna go in there. Um, so I think we might make three more of those. Maybe we'll take uh, these really jacked shotguns. Put that one down there. And these really jacked pistols. I would like to sell that one, but it's it hasn't taken a lot of damage. Yeah, and we'll leave those shotguns for backups and whatnot. I think we'll repair these and then go see what we can sell to like the other traders. Let's put that auger, put the auger in here for now. We do have a level one mining helmet. It's worth like 568. So let's go, let's go get the glue and we'll make some more uh, duct tape. What is that? Three, six, nine more. Make nine duct tape. And, oh, that's the wrong thing. Yeah, we need, oh, there's, there's a dude out there. Shut up, I'm busy. Oh, and it was uh, iron. Keep forgetting about that. Oh, uh, well, let's use that. That list is much shorter. There we go, so there's our nine. And we have these two that we can try to sell as well. patient with me. I'm going to come and help you <laughs> right away. Um, tell me I did my math wrong. I made nine. That's only eight. Oh, I bet one of them took two. Mm. That's a little bit frustrating. another one. We need one more iron. Oh, that's not the iron chest. I, that, that's where it was before I moved it, but... There we go. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so what I want to do is I want to go to those other traders and uh, and sell those. Going? Oh, you're not even going anymore. We need to fix that. Now that'll probably finish up when we're gone. So I'm just going to make everything. We don't have the sand to go with it right now anyway. I know I, I totally want to go back to that passing gas and see what's up with that. Um, but we already wasted so much time in the day. Um, I don't want to risk going over there and getting caught at, there at night. So, um, I'm trying to think. I need to do so much more for our base. I feel like I've neglected it now that I spent last uh, last episode doing nothing but looting <laughs> and dying. Uh, but hey, I went back and, and we we got those buttheads dead. I'm on the wrong road. I'm on the road to nowhere. Ah. Uh, you know, I know I can't say it enough. I really love this motorcycle. It's just got the broom broom, you know. <laughs> it really makes you feel like you're going broom broom. Wait a minute. We totally freaking went down the wrong road. Ah, nerds. See, that's what I get for not following the road. That threw me off. Run over the snake. Alright, where's our turn? It's still up there for a ways. Man, I love the gear changes on this thing. Also, um, I got infected uh, when when I was unloading the bike uh, from our adventure yesterday. Uh, the wandering horde came through, so I was killing them, and one of them happened to hit me, of course, and and then I got infected. Uh, but I popped, I had some antibiotics, so I figured, you know, I was just going to let it go because I was going to be in my base all night anyway, and I figured, well, I'll just get rid of it so I could go up and easily harvest my crops, because if you're harvest, even if you're har just harvesting your crops, having that infection reduces your stamina, and your stamina regeneration so much that every five hits you're out of stamina going Ooh. there was the little uh, chunk thing but yeah it was it was painful to have the infection even though I was just harvesting my crops so I figured well I got the antibiotics I'll go down and use it get rid of it so I can make quick work of all my crops and I went down took the antibiotics and it didn't do anything I'm like I was expecting it to just go away instantly but it looks like what it does is it doesn't get rid of it instantly it just maybe increases your chance of biting off the infection when when the timer runs down, 
So you still have to have it for like five minutes, no matter whether you take that antibiotic or not, which is kind of pointless having a freaking antibiotic in the first place. Because I haven't had a lot of problems fighting off the infection. I even survived a tier two infection. Uh, oh, not over here. But yeah, for it, I had a stage one infection. I took antibiotics. Welcome, survivor. <laughs> Feel free to look Peter around. Jen. Uh, I think you need a drink of water to clear your throat a little bit. Sounds like you got a frog in your throat. So, let's see. Oh, she only bought two. Oh, she only bought two of those. No pistols. You're kidding me. Okay, so do you have any ammo? She's got 108 ammo. Let's check her for shotgun shells. She's got a lot of steel armor, man. I'd really like to see some nerdy glasses. <laughs> Some nerdy glasses. Seriously, I haven't found one set of nerdy glasses. One single set. Uh, and that gives you two in. And I'm thinking that it might be beneficial to have those for later on. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, look at that, 344 9 millimeter ammo, oh my god. I just would rather pick them off and make my shots count for more. And I think she had some, oh yeah, I'm just going to buy that. If we, if we have the money, I might come back and get some of that. But I'd prefer to get the shotgun shells and the 7.62 ammo. But there are two other traders. We're going to go see if we can sell these other guns. Much obliged, stranger. Also, I'm curious. I have a uh a quest from my other trader so i'm wondering will she give me a job oh she will i think i want to do the buried supply i have a dilemma great i look forward to seeing you again and it looks like um they're separate uh, like that one's a tier one where the other guy is up to giving me a tier two so that's kind of cool so let's go check out this other trader over here and see if they'll buy some more of our guns see I don't know what what they're basing it off of if it is it just the gun level or just seems a little wonky to me. I can't ever get them to buy three. You know, in Alpha 16, they would buy like three of something. I don't, I don't know. We're going to have to fuel them up. Because uh, we're like over under 50%, I think, on the gas. Well, you're a sight for sore eyes. Trade a bomb. All right, will you buy my stuff? All right, and we made another level. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, he won't buy that? Wow. Did not see. I don't know why, what, why they won't buy my stuff. Why you don't buy my stuff? 
See, he's the one who had the engines. I see. I'm wondering if that's worth it. Uh, do you got any shotgun shells? I don't see any. What about over here? Yeah, a little bit. Let's get them. And he also had some... I'm tempted to buy that oil, but look, the oil is 255 but the repair kits, if you see them on them, I don't know if he had any, but the last person had a couple and they're only like a hundred each so that doesn't make any sense if you see um, the repair kits on the guy they're definitely worth buying those straight up well he's got a little bit of gunpowder and some coal Yeah, look at that. Is that, that's like 24 for 100 wood. Okay. I know it's like nothing, but, um. So yeah, don't buy the oil. Cause they're, they're ripping you off. That's like, um. But by the the repair kits, y'all come back like, now. Oh wait, let's go ahead and get another job from him. Maybe we'll hoard up these jobs. Oh, he's giving me tier one and tier two. Um, I think I'm gonna take the this one that's the closest. I like you, friend. I've got work for you. Great. I look forward to So maybe to uh, you after again. the horde, we'll just make a whole day of it and we'll just go around and do the um, the trader quests. And we also let's just go around this thing. We also have a third trader. Let's go see if we can sell the rest of those. Maybe they'll have some more ammo. And, uh, oh, I forgot to refuel. Not quite as low as I thought. I thought we were under 50%, but we're actually a little bit over. Let's go to this other trader. Try to sell the rest of our guns. we looked at that building. I don't think it's an actual trader. It would be interesting to go around the town and see if there are any more traders around. <laughs> if they have more. Maybe this is a special town on this map. <coughs> yes? Will you buy my guns, please? Yes, you will but not my pistols i don't understand why would you buy my stuff and things shotgun shells yes please seven six two millimeter rounds yes please um See, and these would be good. I can pop that and then harvest my crops and get uh, three. So that would be awesome. Oh, there's a quest for a thousand buckaroonies. Let's go see if they got anything else. Lots of food. That 
nail gun, just taunting me with the nail gun. See, that's too expensive. Slow metabolism and salvage operations. Oh, he's got some coal. That's pretty cheap, too. 127. That'll turn into 127 gunpowder for us. See, look. Oh. Oh, no. That's per. I thought he had four, and I thought 474 that that was uh, for all four of them, but it was actually each. So... It is a little bit cheaper to buy the oil, but it's still a freaking ripoff. <laughs> I think that's way too much. Oh, look at all the ammo. Can I get it? Oh, does he have any more? He doesn't have any more. We're going to go ahead and get that. We got a horde night coming up, and I don't have very much gunpowder yeah I would definitely like to see all right now that we're done doing business oh, let's get, get out of my store uh, we're gonna get the closest one good work he did a video holy cow I hope y'all didn't touch butch oh my goodness On the chin, big mama, what you doing? Nice of y'all to come out here and visit me so far away from the zombie land. Look, that one jumped over. What the crap? Did they spawn in the trader area? That sounds crazy. Big mama, are you drunk? Yeah, let's slowly back you away from uh, Butch over there. You were dead. You just didn't know it. Uh, <laughs> I love it when they stumble around. They, they're like dead. They just don't know it. I really love the look at my stamina. I've been fighting these guys for five years. My stamina is doing fantastic. Yeah. I love the machete. Way better than the hammer in my opinion. Hey look. Okay, so we still have our two pistols, but we have a, a buttload of ammo. Look at all that. That's amazing. And we got some more coal and more gunpowder. Um, it's 15 o'clock. Let's go look around the outskirts of this town and see if we can find more. Look at that building way, do you see it? Way off directly in front of us there. I think that might be another trader. Let's go check it out. If it is, that would be just amazing. I don't know if it is though. Oh my goodness! You see, I almost wiped out over a stupid piece of wood. I can't wait to get the 4x4. Seriously, that's going to be awesome. Oh, it was just trees that... But there is a building past it that looks like it might resemble a trader or some such. It is another trader. Holy cow! This town is freaking amazing. Um... Looks like we're on the back. You guys are gonna have to follow me around. Oh wait, here's the front right here. We were just on the side. So, oh, there's like three zombies out here. 
Well, he's the traitor is open. It's not my fault if he doesn't serve your kind. Uh, I guess this is a right to buy <laughs> establishment. <laughs> oh, let's loot the car while we're here. Ten steel arrows. Hey, I happen to need those. To check the mail for him. Oh, dude, I think I forgot to check the last guy's mail. He probably thinks I'm rude. <laughs> oh, he's got a nice car over here. Let's go check that out. Off one duke. Yeah, you can burp all you want. You're on the outside. I'm on the inside. Eleven bullets. Awesome. That's an intact one. Might as well check, take out the trash for him while we're here. Just being a friendly neighbor. <laughs> Oh, look at that! 50 shotgun shells and 40 ammo. And we are low on money. Oh, seriously, why won't you buy more? I have so many. I'm just trying to share, share the love. I'm probably not gonna have enough to buy that. The shotgun shells. It's not gonna leave me enough to buy all this. Oh yeah, it will, cause that's only 224. That must be 56 for for 10. Oh, yes, please. Give me coal. We're not gonna have enough. We only got like 1,200 coins left. Let's see what he's got. Better not be checking with Butch. Look at that chainsaw for 10 grand. He's got 37 more shotgun shells. Oh crap. Yeah, I really wish I could find a set of nerdy glasses. I just, I, I mean, just, I just haven't you come back seen sometime. any. Um, let's mark him on the map. We definitely want, we need another traitor. Hmm, maybe we should check and see if there's another. Just go around the whole town. You better leave my butch alone. Um, let's go ahead and fill him up with gas. Alright, butch, where you wanna go? You wanna go for a ride? We got a little bit of time. It's, I don't think that's um a traitor. That doesn't look like a traitor. Does it? Oh, there's a freaking vulture. Great. Yeah, that's one of those little... We've been in one of those. That's not a traitor. Let's be on the lookout. Four traitors. Oh, look. Is that one over there? This is a freaking amazing town. I love it. I wish all towns were like this and had four or five traders around them. Oh no, you can't catch me. Dodge and weave, dodge and weave. The road knew what to do. What is that? Is that, that doesn't look like a trader. It is a traitor. <laughs> All right. 
Let's go see what this traitor will buy our freaking pistols from us. <laughs> traitor Jin! Uh, I didn't know you had two shots. Will you buy my gun? Yes, you will, but I don't have very much still. Oh, that's like everything. I don't have enough to really buy a, a lot of ammo. Oh yeah, get the gunpowder. Does she have any gunpowder here? I, sometimes I look and I just still don't see anything. Even though I'm looking. I would really love to buy that steel. I'm just not finding a whole heck of a lot of iron. I guess I need to spend more time. Yeah, well, we got the last gun sold and we got a ton of ammo and stuff, but. Thank you, Survivor. Check oh, we back need to make soon. sure. Get new merchandise daily. Mark this one. Um, and let's continue on. It looks like the road ends. This road here sort of goes in between them and this road here. But let's sort of circle around here to see if there's maybe some more traders on that side. Uh, oh! We didn't get a quest. I wonder if I die, do I lose all of them? Look at how far those are away. Um, we'll take the closest one, I guess. We'll clear the zombies. I could really you. Oh, thank you very much. I will make it worth your while. I'm sure you will, Jen. Just get get some water, maybe. Um, just have your throat looked at. Or quit smoking. All right, let's take off over here. Head out this way. See what we see. Oh, whoa! I wasn't looking. It doesn't look like there's anything over here. But let's just go ahead and ride on through, I guess. We'll head back. Uh, head on back to the house. Oh man, I really want to go do that passing gas, but I'm afraid it's going to take more time than I have. Uh, it's going to take a long time to get through there. I think that's our... Um, that looks like a little military camp there. Not a traitor. There's a bunker over there. I don't think uh, there was anything over there. Well, it's good to check it out. Four traders around this town, and we haven't really gone through the middle of it, so... It was good to get those guns sold off, get some extra ammo, extra gunpowder, extra coal. Um, I'm just getting really unlucky. I don't know, should I go all the way down to bedrock to mine? Would that be more lucrative uh, in terms of finding iron and coal? 
maybe if I went to the desert that happens to be like all over the freaking planet, uh, went to my little pit and dug all the way down to bedrock there, maybe could I find some oil shell? And then I could make oil. That would be awesome. And then we could always have, uh, always have oil to have repair kits and because um, I, I don't want to use the oil to make like because you need an oil to make a um, Molotov cocktail and I don't want to use my oil for those um, if they're used in making the repair kits which I desperately need I need to make some just to have for, for me to repair like my bow and uh, like my nail gun takes repair kits whoa what the heck okay that's the lake that has the, the roads going through it two roads we're getting closer to home We didn't. We don't have a whole lot to show for it. We did get a lot of ammo, uh, so that's good. A lot of ammo, a little bit of gunpowder and coal. Got an auger out of today, so that's awesome. I get to play around with it. I probably have even more zombies attacking my base in the middle of the night, uh, so maybe I want to. I don't know if it. Uh, does it lower your chance of getting detected if you're further away? I don't know. What what happened? Did I update something? Holy crap. I think I updated a quest. It was. There was a quest back there. It was one of those traders that gave it to us. Holy crap. I hope I don't... We might have to go check that out tomorrow since it's so close. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I've been working on this still. Um, you know, every time I come by, I could probably drink a couple of coffees and just knock this whole thing out, or um, you know, take that auger to it. Um. Let's go try it out. I want to see how well it does. Um, and we have some gas on us. We'll, like, drop our stuff off real quick. We don't even need to drop our stuff off. Let's just, um, let's go in, put our motorcycle up. And we'll get the auger out. Um, also, let's get a little bit of little bit more gas. Oh, you're not the gas. You're the gas. Yeah. Immersion! Put some more ammo up. There we go. And we'll just go ahead and throw a build up while we're in here. Well, I was really hoping I would have gotten a lot more money out of that. Um, because that was a lot of weapons. A lot of repair kits. Oh, there's no, like, little glug glug sound. See, no stamina go down. So used to having to fight it and pull it back down and pull it back down. 
really hard to aim it and get it to, um, you know, go where you want it to. Oh, this is awesome. Doesn't auto reload. No glug glug sound. Let's see if it loads it again if I, um, if I push the button like the, the, the weapons don't auto reload until you try to, uh, use them once they're out of ammo. So let's see if that'll work. Now it's out. And now when I hit the button to use it again, it reloaded it. Awesome. Oh, this is so, so good. So, so good. Uh, yeah, I haven't been able to mine that would have taken me a good half hour to mine that section without coffee. Even with coffee, you know, it still would have taken a, quite a while. Not having to rely on the stamina is, is really nice. I think that's why I like the machete so much, because it's not as... Uh, unforgiving as the that sledgehammer man you miss and it costs you it still costs you all that stamina it is a powerful weapon though but yes I love the auger oh it's out and we'll need repair kits for the auger now too Oh, this is so amazing! I love it, I love it! It's probably not the best thing to be recording right now. So, we tried it out. It's awesome! Yeah, we can just non-stop mine and mine and mine until, you know, we run out of repair kits and gasoline. <laughs> I love it. All right, so now I need to uh, do even more stuff. Uh, so yeah, expect that um, to be gone sometime soon. Okay, now I really, okay, let's check on our guys over here. We got all that stuff melted down. And, oh, yeah, we're all really low on play, too. Oh, I completely forgot about my shotgun over here. Whoa, look at that. Yes. Because <laughs> um, I want to put, I want to put all this stuff in there. And I want to start carrying that around with me anytime I go looting. Oh, look at all of that stone that we just got. Oh, that is awesome. We got a little bit more iron to throw in there. <sighs> yeah, that um, would, we're gonna need uh, uh, actually how much is that gonna take? Two minutes? Oh yeah, we'll just leave it like that. That other one had like seven more minutes on it, so. Oh, we got the shotgun, Berber! So anytime I go looting, I definitely want to, to take this with me. 
is it? What is? It doesn't have. Are you kidding me? I made this and it doesn't have any modification slots? Is that a bug? Because I made the wrench and it had modification slots. I made all these guys and they had modification slots. And I made that. Um... The whole reason I made this was to get modification slots. Can you even mod a shotgun? I did not check that. That might be... This one has a modification slot. It only has one. That is... Um... Unfortunate. Oh, look, we can't even put... You can't put a scope? You can't put a scope on a shotgun? What? <laughs> I should be able to put a scope on a shotgun. Well, so, yeah, we can't use that one, but we can't use it anyway because this doesn't have any modification slots. I think that's probably a bug. Because uh, all my other weapons and stuff have modification slots. I mean, this one doesn't because it's a level 1. But this is a level 5. It should have at least... One. You know, this one has at least one. This one should have at least one. And it should have more because it's higher level. I wasted 32 steel for nothing. For no modification slots. Which is very unfortunate. So, I'm definitely going to put the cripple them in there. Oh man, now I'm flabbergasted. That was supposed to be my shotgun, man. Flubbity dub. You know, I think we got, um, Football helmets. Yeah, let's use the level two. We got a football helmet. We have a flashlight. I might go ahead and make that anyway. Okay, I'm so flustered on that. Let's just end the episode here. We only we have 30 game minutes left till 20 o'clock anyway. I'll be able to rant all I want. <laughs> five shotgun it doesn't have modification slots what anyway um i'm gonna be doing stuff uh stuff and things uh i'll probably try to dig down some make some more repair kits now that we're gonna we're gonna blow through them using that auger uh, now, this much gas doesn't seem like a whole heck of a lot since I blew through 600 in, like, no time. So, the auger is definitely going to help. Um, but at the same time, <laughs> it's, <laughs> yeah, um, I think I need a thousand sand. So, let's go ahead and make that up. There we go. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I know this this was just to run around and sell stuff to the trader, get get lots of money and bullets, but we gotta do that. Gotta get the ammo for the, the upcoming horde. Um, yeah, and tomorrow we'll probably spend uh, going around the outside replacing all the spikes and uh, 
barbed wire fence so that the zombies can't just come walk right in and to our base that and I uh, have to replace the the traps on the outside the cage when we need to do that uh, <laughs> they they have been falling in the other traps but we'll we'll just take care of everything tomorrow hopefully if we have some time we'll go check out that quest that's really close to us and see if we can do that uh yeah so thank you for watching um leave a comment let me know what you think of uh the base um any tips or tricks you could leave are greatly appreciated and uh, we'll see you next time bye bye